Well, hello. My name is Chris Villalobos. I am your host for My Life as a Petri Dish. Guys, seriously, lighting is like one of the hardest things to do. Just letting you know. People are chiming in and I'm thinking I love it because I'm actually starting a conversation. There are conversations that are actually being had and people are sharing and thank you. Thank you for participating and being cool. You guys have done an amazing job at keeping it very respectful for the most part, but hey, can't all be perfect. This past week's topic was about addiction in the community. And I was very engaged in conversation for this one. I wanna say thank you to a few people. There's three people, um, Greg Diamore, like how I got that name. Uh, also Cameron Crimmins and to Maurice Daniel. Greg, loved your story. Thank you for that. Uh, Cameron, you have been extremely helpful in boosting and getting my name out there and being such a support system for me, so thank you. And then to my dear Maurice. Oh, Grandpa says thank you. Thank you for all the tech-savvy advice you've given me. I am trying my best, trying my absolute best. So if there's an actual way that I am communicating with you guys and it seems to be, wow, cool, wow, nice, you're actually doing something like on social media, it's because of Maurice. Maurice, it's you, thank you, appreciate you. I think addiction is something that is going to span all lifetimes and it's something that needs to be addressed because if we're not actually having a conversation about it, then um, what's the point? I'm really happy that um, so many people were able to step forward and share their stories, they're awesome. Uh, they're unique without being, the underlying statements are very similar, but each have different details on how they found it and where they came from. But congratulations to the people that have been sober. Congratulations to the people that are fighting it. Com congratulations to the people that are admitting it and doing something to take a step forward. Um, it's really commendable. And those of you that are struggling with it and don't know what to do, uh, please, by all means, reach out. We can get you connected to resources. We can do whatever we can. My biggest takeaway from this topic really was the fact that people are wanting to have a conversation and not and actually having a conversation, presenting ideas from different perspectives and being able to communicate and give information, right? So that in itself is very special to me at least, because if we're not communicating, if we're not collaborating, if we're not actually understanding what it is that's going on, then that's when things start slowing down and we just get nasty with each other. And there's, it really serves no purpose, I don't think. We all have dreams, we all have goals, we all are taking actions towards something. So what I'm curious about, I'm gonna go, um, I'll share some of mine with you so that I start this week off right. Uh, dreams of mine. Well, back in the day, I would say my dream was to be a famous actor. That was, oh God, the Oscars just happened, look at that. That was my, I was so sold on it, but there was a different dream that when I was younger than that, that I actually cling to to this day, and that was to be a teacher. I wanted to be in a classroom, I wanted to influence kids and be in charge of a setting that allowed people to grow and expand. Now, I didn't, clearly I did not think that when I was a kid, when I was a kid. I think it was just the fact that I had extra paperwork that were homework handouts. And <laughs> I used to take them home, I would pass them all around and then I'd pretend my bathroom was the teacher's lounge. Ugh, loved it. I just, I guess I like authority. My goals right now, I am doing this channel. My channel is, I really don't know, but the goal is to be a public speaker. I love what I'm doing with the HIV stuff. I love how much I'm impacting lives and actually doing something that's great. This project that I am working on is a step forward for me. I am conquering social media. I still do not have Snapchat because that scares me. I don't know how to engage on Twitter. I'm working on it, I'm getting better, getting better about it. I have a page. I'm, I'm actually holding myself accountable. I have my goals, I have what needs to happen each week and I am just gonna continue doing it because I can. Well, hello. All right probably an ugly face. Uh, the other thing that the goals that I really want and have in life is that by the time I'm 35, I'm 31 right now. 
I would like to start the adoption process. This is like my, the real lifetime goal that I've had. I've said it since I was, you know, in my teenage years. I don't know why, I just really want to be a dad. I think I'll be a good dad. I, I personally don't mind who it is that I get to take care of, but I wanna make sure that they know that they have a good, loving, stable home. My actions are to continue to grow and expand business. I need to figure out my uh, living situation and make sure that I have stability with it and I have a home and can provide for these kids. The third action really is to have myself take an emotional assessment of what it is that I'm doing with my own life and am I really ready? Am I preparing myself for it? So now, I, it is your turn. I want you guys to chime in and be honest. Be as honest as you want. This goes to everyone, whoever you are. I'm very curious to see what your dreams were what they currently are, what your goals that you've set up, and then your actions that you're taking. The purpose in this is just to get it out there because a lot of magical things can happen when it's out there and put into reality. I'm curious what you guys think. Plus, I just needed a little bit more of a lighthearted one than addiction for this week, but this is good. I like this. It's gonna be very personal. If you do not want to do this and you think this is a stupid topic, if you want to suggest different ideas for topics, then I'm all ears. Now remember, if you like what you see and you're not annoyed and want to just smack me across the face, please subscribe and like and follow and do all that good things. So I'm going to put down real quick, I have my Facebook page. Please like and follow the Facebook page. I've got my Twitter down there that I don't know what the hell I'm doing with, but hey, it's there. And I also have my YouTube channel. I would love, oh, and Instagram. Duh. <laughs> I still don't know what I'm doing with Instagram either, but I'm getting there. I'm getting there. It's week three now, so I <laughs> have a 52 week experiment. And I've noticed that social media has, it's a double-edged sword. On one hand, we're so connected to everyone and the information is there. It's just waiting for us. But not much is happening. Uh, I've had some amazing stories with people and people telling me theirs and me telling mine and being curious and that's, that's great. But I also realize I'm not in the real world. I'm not physically enjoying myself and my environment. My friends are all making fun of me because they're saying like, whoa, like seriously, you're spending this much time on it? I think you need to do something else with your time because you're just gonna get frustrated. And it's true, I'm one of those people that is, uh, I take things a little bit too aggressively sometimes and I like to throw myself all in, but I've also noticed the pattern is that I can self-destruct because I've put too much pressure on myself. I want to enjoy my experience and I want to learn as much as I possibly can but I, don't. I think that I'm going to uh, burn myself out on this one and I don't want that because you guys are friggin' cool and I've thoroughly enjoyed this. What is that? What is that? I wear my glasses too much. Oh, God. All right. Bam. Rings.